Joe Tamargo from WedheadPumpRepair.com. What's up, man? It's my boy Robert. All right, so today we're going to show you what bearings are inside your Pack Fab motor. All right, so the first thing you want to do, okay, is watch our other video when we show you how to mark your pump. Basically, what you're going to do is take a center punch, and you're just going to mark two punches, bang, 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 just to keep your motor straight. Now, once you've watched that video and learned how to mark your motor, you want to knock it, knock it apart. So the first thing you want to do is remove your through bolts, which are these lengthy bolts that go through your motor. Okay, you can use a nut driver. To do so, you want to take your nut driver and put it on the end of the through bolt and then just spin it to the counterclockwise position, just like that, and remove that. Once you remove your through bolts, you'll be able to separate the motor. Now, sometimes, you didn't even flinch, man. You really just don't do anything in videos. You did me, I was like, Shh, and you're like, I am. Um, Set. All right, that was pretty good. That wow, that was pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so you want to remove your through bolts just like that, all right, man? And once you remove all through, all through bolts, you want to knock the motor. Now sometimes these through bolts are hard to get out, so if you start turning it a little bit with your nut driver, and you can't get them out, you want to watch my other videos on how we show you how to drill out the through bolts on the top of the heads, and you'll remove them safely without damaging the motor. Okay, so once you have removed all four of your through bolts. You want to take a flathead screwdriver and knock this motor just like this. Get that front end bell nice and loose. You might want to spin it a little bit to evenly tap it off like this. All right, keep turning it around. Once you do so, sometimes your front end bell will pop off just like that. There you go. All right, and now you have your uh, rear end in there. So what you want to do is I use a little small half inch pipe. And I'm just going to tap the back of the motor shaft like this. Without hitting Robert in the chest over here like, what's up, man? Listen, if you're from OSHA, we're just doing this just to help society. Because if you work for OSHA, you're probably against like food stamps and big government and don't want to feed the poor. So like, right, we're not trying to like, this is not how we usually work. It's just for video demonstrations only. Just relax. All right, so once you hit the back of the shaft, you'll see that their whole motor armature will pull out just like that. Looks like someone's got a new bearing in the back there. It's pretty good. So what you can see is you got a 6203 bearing in the front and a 6203 bearing in the back. All right. So you got your pack fab pump. Wow, this thing is fried too. We won't be changing bearings in this thing, and uh, we'll be showing you why in a minute. Holy cow! Look at this, Robert. Check this out. Oh my God! What? He spoke. That's how you know it's bad, folks. He just said, oh my God. Okay, if you can check it out, it's kind of far away, but you can see this motor is fried. It is burnt, man. It is fried, yeah. There you go, Kelly. Push up on the top there. You can zoom in without putting your fingernail on the lens. There you go. Anyway, we'll show you the next video. This motor is totally fried out, man. There you go. So yeah, we won't be changing the bearings, but if you do have a pack fab and it's not fried, right, you can get two 6203 bearings, one for the front and all right, man. Thanks for coming. See you in the next video. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo from WedheadPumpRepair.com. If you have a pack fab motor, challenger pump, and you need to replace the bearings, 6203-RS-LL, WedheadPumpRepair.com. Thanks for watching. Peace.